Hello everybody, uh, sorry I haven't really been making a lot of videos recently, I've really been just messing with my uh, old equipment and it's just been taking forever, I've been messing around with the microphone trying to get that to work, I finally got it to work. Uh, I replaced my editor because it, it it's, ju it, it's just so bad. <laughs> it's not that it's bad, it just keeps pausing and not responding and it makes my projects way longer to freaking do. So I got a new one and I got a video capturer thing because also my video capturer was like equipped to my old editor and you know, it just made it things so much slower. But um, yeah, I hope I've got a different editor now and all that stuff. So hopefully that'll it, it works really fast. So I I it will probably speed up my projects. Uh, the Rogo review will be coming. I in the Excel review also I haven't really been freaking slacking off on those and i've been really been meaning to do a whole a, a whole like sort of uh discussion on the newest um manga of uh, the ghost buddy thing or not discussion but um i guess sort of opinion or what i think of it but yeah uh, i'm not here to discuss that today i'm here to discuss a completely different topic uh i am here to basically talk about the whole controversy behind the death note live action movie now as you know I am not really a big anime manga guy, but I have read my fair share of manga, and I've read, watched my fair share of just anime-based manga, and it, like, I think that's the same thing, but never mind, just, 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 okay, um, <laughs> uh, this video is not scripted, as you could tell, the mainly, my discussions aren't scripted, as you could tell, and I've been scripting a lot of my videos, so yeah, um, so, I really wanted to talk about this cause just because I like Death Note. I, I like it. I mean, it's pretty much a, it's a cult. It's pretty much just up there along with Dragon Ball Z and all this other, you know, well-known animes or well-liked animes out there. But yeah, I'm here to talk about that, the controversy. I've watched the trailer multiple times. And get my squeaky chair. Um, I've watched the trailer multiple times. And, you know, I've, I've, I've seen the comments. I've seen the majority of the you know people saying oh it's too action packed it's 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 too bad the guy playing light isn't great well now not the same guy that plays light in this is the same guy that did that did goku and the dragon ball evolution for those that those like 10 of you have seen um now i haven't really seen him in a lot of stuff i only saw him in dragon ball evolution which he was horrible in but i'm really i even though i don't like the guy that much I am willing to try to see if this guy's good. Now, I don't have an issue either with L being freaking black. I could honestly care less. As long as he does the part good, it's fine. This is this is based keyword based on the on the international phenomena that is Death Note. Okay, this isn't the actual thing. It's it isn't taking page by page, word for word scene by scene from death note even though it is taking some of it and it is doing it <laughs> but and it, the keywords based here because it's it, it's based it's our thing our own thing you know it's not an, it's not this it's not like dragon Ball evolution where they try to like actually copy and fail miserably now am i expecting it to be good i don't know i watched the trailer i think they're going in sort of the right Direction Willem Dafoe as Ryuk, I think, is the best choice. Do I think... Do I think they could change the actor for light? Yes, I really think they should. But it doesn't... Now, they may do the characters differently. I don't know. But it's it, you just have to roll with it. Whether the movie's good, whether it's not, it's their own freaking thing. It's not... Because there were, like, multiple movies on Japan. Like, there were multiple, like, I think three or four Death Note act live-action movies in Japan, and I heard they were not that great, or some of them were fair, some of them weren't that great, but uh, I'm willing to give this one a chance, Netflix is doing this, I mean, they're kind of hit or miss, depending on what you like, but I mean, it's, I'm not, I'm willing to give this a chance, you know, I'm not expecting great things, you know, anime, live action adaptations aren't really well known to be great, but this just has a hint, a hint of realism in it. It's that whole Death Note, Death God thing. Um, this is like a detective mystery thing, so I'm hoping in a lot of ways this will be better than the majority of fantasy 
ridiculousness that they put on the actual live action screen, such as Dragon Ball Evolution. So I'm hoping this will be good. The trailer it, it 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 does it is making it seem darker. You see like all these dead people and like they're writing their names on blood. You see people walking off the freaking roofs. You see it, it kind of disturbed me how they were using Kira instead of the actual English translation because Kira means killer. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, people were b kind of mad about that too. I didn't really get why. I'm not I'm not I'm not like the hardcore anime fan. I'm mean, like oh they got this wrong. Oh they got that wrong. No, it, it, it's base. I'm not gonna get mad because this is base. It's not an actual like inter. <laughs> it's not an actual thing to base off the anime. So uh, that they're, they're kind of keeping Ryuk in like in the darkness. Now I, I forget if one of the phones actually playing him like makeup and stuff. I think it's a CG thing. Like from what I've seen of him, it doesn't look CG. It just kind of it's weird. It's kind of a mix. Again, he's in the dark. So I, I, I'm hoping they do keep it like that in the movie. Like they have him in the shadows, you can hardly kind of see him. That way, he kind of hides the CG and kind of makes him sort of mysterious. I hope they do that. I really do. I only show him in the dark, even though it's I, it's not like you know how it was in the anime. I think it'd be kind of cool for them to do that. You know, kind of hide the CG if it was bad or not, and kind of give him more of like a mysterious demon guy figure. It, that'd be fine. I like it. I would like it like that. Uh, the Death Note looks fine. Like, at first I thought it looked a little bit clunky. Like, it looked like a big freaking phone book. But, um, it just looked fine. I, from a certain angle, so I guess it looked that way. I don't know. The girl playing Nisa. Uh, I mean, she... Again, I haven't seen the freaking movie. They might have done her differently. I could care less either way. Again, this is based off of it. It's not an actual thing. So, regardless if they use their names, if you see different characters, or you see the same characters, this is our version. It's based, okay? Don't get freaking butthurt over, oh, no, Ryuk, he, his eyes, or, you know, it, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. It, 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 it is. Uh, I, I like the guy playing Watari, because he's the same guy that played Hugo, Hugo Strange from Gotham, and he's a really good actor, and I really like him. He's in a lot of stuff I, I've seen recently. It's really weird, but um, I think he's good you know uh again this seems a lot of this seems sort of kind of action packed i guess from like the scenes at the carnival and stuff but again those could be like the only action scenes in it because people were complaining it was too action packed but that kind of makes no sense because if you just watched like a live action thing and it was just talking and it's, it's hard it's a hard, it's hard to convey you know stuff in anime into live action, you know, like for Bleach, for instance, there's a Bleach live action movie, and I am a fan of Bleach, I really like Bleach, and I did read the manga to the ending, and yes, I thought the ending was kind of blab, but then again, Kubo was rushed, now they're doing a live action movie of Bleach, I think they're kind of following, they're following the story, it's not based, they're following it, and they're starting off with the whole substitute Soul Reaper arc, when Ichigo becomes a Soul Reaper, and... I have seen the costumes, and they look not that great, and I'm worried, well, I shouldn't say worried, I know it's gonna suck and be really bad, because, hey, these captains look super cool in the anime with their clothing, the way they look, they just look so cool, these spotter look cool, but when you transfer that over to live action, everyone looks freaking retarded. They look like cosplayers. They look like idiots. They look like nerds. Ukiyori doesn't look as intimidating in real life than he did in the anime. Grimjo doesn't look as intimidating in real life as he did in the anime. Ichigo's hot well, I guess Ichigo's hollow form would look just as intimidating, but whatever. It's just that you can't like put like I mean like yeah, Toma from Enda, he looks cool. But when you make him look like what he does in real life you just look like a cosplayer. Accelerator. You look like a cosplayer. Like it, it, it's it, you can't. It's hard to transfer stuff, everything from an anime into real life without looking retarded. And I can see why they changed L the way they did because if L L looks cool in the anime, right? He looks fine. But when you transfer over that to live action with the white shirt, the messy hair, the he looks kind of retarded. You know, he doesn't. You can't really take him seriously. Now, I, I, 
I, I understand why they made him black. Because, you know, you got to appeal. You got, it's about PPs in the crowd. You know, you can't just do these things. And you, you're hitting a broader audience, is what I'm trying to say. You're not just the fans of the anime. What if an old guy's on Netflix saying, oh, what's this Death Note, you know? And it's, he just sees it, and it's just, you know, all it's anime, and he isn't really appealing, you know? You have to appeal to a broader audience. You know, I, I get what they're doing here. This And this is also not in Tokyo, this or Japan. This is, like, in Orlando or something, I think. So it would make sense for there to be, oh, I don't know, a black guy. <laughs> you know? It makes sense. It does. I'm not mad they made L white. Because as long as the guy does his character good, I don't freaking care. Uh, if he's crap, I will point out, hey, this actor is garbage. He's bad. But what if when I see it in the trailer, he seems to be doing fine? Now, I thought it was a bit much that they... Like, made him sit the position L sat. It, it, it depends on how how they, I guess, made it look, but he's sitting like L does. And it, he doesn't look cool. Like, it, that looked cool in the anime, but in live action, it just looks kind of retarded, but I guess that's the point. But I just, I feel like they maybe, hopefully, they don't take everything and put it in this to make things more retarded. Than, than they looked in the anime, you know what you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? This video isn't scripted, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, th I I I have sort of high hopes for this. I sh I know I shouldn't be saying that, but this is Netflix. They're really hit or miss, and I hope this is a hit because you know obviously they're probably doing just the first part of it. This isn't all of it. I didn't really see near in this, even though, again, I feel like transferable for him to live action would be kind of retarded, too. But, um, <laughs> it, it, it's just, I, this movie looks like it could be hitting in the right direction. I feel like if this movie's done right, if it's done well, it could give us more, I guess, live action anime-based stuff. Now, I think that they should, they should just, you know, choose wisely what they want to do with live action anime. You really have to. You know, if you did Index live action, that'd be, oh, fuck, I could see it already. It's crappy, bad, and, ugh. Oh, man. Everyone looks retarded. You know, you can't take anyone seriously because they all look like cosplay. You know what I'm saying? It, I think there is, like, sort of a Japanese thing on YouTube, actually, with live action Toma and stuff. Whatever. But, uh, it's just, I really hope they go in the right direction with this. It seems like they're going a little bit more realistically. You see Elf speaking and out and out to a lot of people in a crowd which makes sense everyone was complaining is l talking in a crowd of people about the case oh my gosh but it's like it makes sense you know in an actual united states thing it would make sense for the guy that knows more about the case to come out and talk about the case you know that way people aren't worried and stuff and i also like the fact it's sort of like a this is turning into a little bit of a cult thing you see people with candles spelling out his name as i said earlier you see people, like, I hope we get to see more of the worshipping and stuff. I, I kind of hope we get into that a bit, you know, to make it seem a little bit darker, to make it seem like people, you know, realistically speaking. I really hope they get into more of that. The death, as I said, look kind of cool. I, I have, I'm in the middle in this, I guess I could say. I have high I have high expectations due to the trailer, but I feel like the, in the way it'll go... I'm in the middle. The trailer made it seem good, but then again, trailers can easily be, you know, done in a way. Oh, this looks great. <sighs> Sorry, this video was kind of a mess. I just really wanted to get my thoughts out there. Just because, the, have you seen the like and dislike ratio of that trailer? It's like in the freaking middle here. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts? What do you think live action Death Note will be in America anyway? You think it'll be good? Think it'll be bad? Think it'll be just not worth checking out? I'll check it out. I'll, I'm a fan. I'll check it out. Uh, it, just leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Honestly, I'm expecting most of you to say it may be pretty bad. To expect, depending on the uh, you know anime live action <laughs> thing going on. I only know of one anime live action movie. I could be wrong. I know they're doing a Tokyo Ghoul one in Japan. I think I watched Attack on Titan live action one. That was fine. You know, but that was done in Japan. And I think the creator actually had a, had a hand in it. But 
you know, whatever, fine. Leave your comments down below. What do you guys think of the new live-action Death Note trailer? You think it'll be good? Think it'll be bad? Think it'll be great? Awesome? Suck? Movie? But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.